this is an example of a financial model. And here, uh, and I understand this looks kind of complicated. Just understand like, you know, I probably can't teach you how to do all this. Probably doesn't even make sense for you to use this model. I'm just showing you an example. This is, this is like based on a real business and it's, you know, very, very customized to them. So what we can see up here is we've got, um, you know, if this business sells their product for $5,000, they've got $10,000 of overhead and the CEO pays themselves $10,000 a month. In terms of marketing, if they pay their marketer $1,500 a month, the marketer gets 5% rev share. Um, they're using pay-per-click uh, ads and pay-per-click ads are generating um, bookings for sales meetings at $150 per booking. If we're paying a salesperson $5,000, they get 5% of revenue as a bonus uh, or as a commission. And our salesperson is closing at 40%. And then from there, if our fulfillment cost to provide this product or service is $1,500, and that's what goes there. Now, each of these, you can, multi you can manipulate the numbers, right? So now I can run different scenarios. So with these scenarios that you see right here, if we're generating one call per workday, that means we have 21 calls per month. Our salesperson is closing at 40%. Remember, we selected that right here. That means eight deals closed per month at $49.99, which we selected right here. $40,000 of gross revenue. On this deal, your salesperson would be making $7,000, just right there, 5,000 plus 5%. That means our, and then our fulfillment costs are 12,000, which is eight new clients times 1,500 is 12 grand. That means my gross profit before acquisition cost is 20,992. Paying the marketer 3,500, which is 1,500 plus 5%. Our PPC costs are 3,150, which is 150 multiplied by the number of calls. And so now we know that our uh, uh, gross profit after everything except for overhead and CEO compensation is 14,3, which is gross profit per year of 172. Then we pay the CEO for 10 grand. Um, I'm sorry, overhead of 10 grand, pay the CEO 10 grand. We're actually losing uh, 55, 56, 57 a month or $70,000 a year. So this model doesn't work under these assumptions if we're only booking one uh, first call. So all we have to do now is just look and say, well, hey, where do we like this number? And you go, oh, goodness gracious. Well, $182,000 profit before tax, that's actually pretty great. It's almost 20%. That's much more interesting. So we know that we have to be getting two first calls booked per workday. And salesperson has hit 40%, et cetera, et cetera. And we can expect uh, $182,000 in, in profit. Now, now you can play with this. You can say, well, what if our, our production team is not as efficient and it costs them $1,500? Or what if my salesperson does some sales training, they get to 45%? What if my uh, overhead goes up to $12,000? All these numbers start adjusting. All these numbers start adjusting. And uh, what happens if we sell for only $39.99? Well, now you see two day, day deals a, um, a week is only 4%. That doesn't leave much wiggle room. You pretty much have to sell three per, three per month now if you're going to generate 19% profit, which is what we had before. So like literally, you can see the future. There's no guessing. There's no guessing. You can literally see the future. So this really reveals um, where our business can stand. Um, also helps you negotiate deals. If you're hiring a salesperson, you know what you can and can't pay them. If you're hiring a marketer or a marketing agency, you know what you can and can't pay them. Okay. And so what this also really reveals is, you know, this is where our this is where our business should build. If we know that we have certain products and services that are losing us money, we should not build a profit factor around that. Instead, we should build around where we have great margins, right? 